Hi beautiful Leos, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie. Today I am going to be doing a reading for the new moon in Taurus for you guys to see what is in store, what you're going to be feeling, and how is the best way for you to deal with this energy. So first and foremost we need to know that the new moon in Taurus is a new beginning in our connection to the physical realm, to our self-worth, and to the connection the universe as our material provider and I feel like it is going to be important for all signs to be aware of these energies so I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you and I'm going to be pulling additional oracle cards as well some of you guys might be surrounded by soulmates people that you feel very connected to on a soul level. Remember that this is a general reading, so it might not apply, like all messages might not apply 100% to you. Some messages are for you, some messages are for other people. So if they don't resonate with you, that's okay. Allow that to be the case. And take what's for you. Hmm. So the message from the new moon in Taurus is that pr prosperity lies ahead. And I feel like you guys are in this point in which you already feel, Leo, like you have achieved a lot. You're looking at your achievements, you're looking down and seeing all the things that you have already manifested and you feel proud for them. You feel proud also for all that you have overcome. The right or the path to get to your success has not been easy. There's been a lot going on. And it is time for you to feel that sense of pride and honor for everything that you have accomplished. You have entered a state of um, conquering things and being successful and being very connected to that fiery energy of you and your sign, Leo. I feel like some of you guys might be letting go of important things. Some of you guys might be letting go of a country that you felt you would live in for the rest of your life. Some of you guys might be leaving behind relationships that are toxic or that are no, no longer um, good for you. And it's funny because I see here the new moon and I see here the full moon. So some of you might not be aware of what you're leaving behind on the new moon. The new moon is going to trigger and open that gateway for the period to go from the new moon to the full moon. By the time the full moon comes, you're going to be walking away from something. You're going to be walking away perhaps from another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. You're going to be walking away perhaps from a career path that is no longer serving you. Or you might be walking away from someone who you feel has a very strong soul connection to you. Either way, I feel like if you are walking away from anything, it's because you are discontent. So it's not like something is coming out of your life because it has to and you have no choice. I'm, what I'm feeling is that you are actually pushing something out. So it's like something that you don't feel content with, that you feel bored of, that you feel um, is not, no longer aligned to you. And that's why you are making this change. At the same time, your physical world and your relationship to money might be bringing in a lot of burdens for you at this time. You may be feeling worried, concerned, stressed out, burnt out, um, quite tired. And this new moon is going to expose the different beliefs that you have about your self-worth, about what you are worth, your time is worth, what you truly value. All of these things are going to be sort of like exposed by this new moon. And you're going to realize that there's some changes that need to be made. Be very patient with yourself at this time because you could feel quite like this, <laughs> quite um, defeated. Some of you guys are going to be feeling quite defeated and you're going to be realizing that certain structures and behaviors that you have been holding on to in the professional aspect of your life or the physical material world simply is not serving you and you have to change something is going to change something is is craving to change 
And I think that you might have a resistance to it. You might not choose to make any kind of change until you feel like this Ten of Swords or Ten of Wands here, like you have no choice. Some of you guys are going to be pushed into that space of not having a choice. If you don't want to be pushed into that space, evaluate what changes need to be made and be very honest with yourself. Maybe consult someone that can help you find that perspective. This is a general reading, but if you guys like personalized readings made specifically for you, I do offer those. Um, you would need to go to my website and check out the different uh, prices and availability. I'm going to leave everything below in case you feel like doing that. Clarity. Listen for the clarity beneath the doubt. Belong. You belong here, and your presence is needed. Breakthrough. This breakdown is a breakthrough. I love that. Oh, this is amazing. I love it because these two cards are speaking about a breakdown. They're speaking about something that is no longer sustainable, something that is bringing a sense of defeat or rock bottom. This breakdown is your breakthrough. So trust and allow the breakdown to happen because it can bring the most beautiful opportunities or guide you in the best direction you can possibly go. And we have the Sea Witch card. Allow yourself to flow with the current. Allow life to take you where you need to go. Try to not put any resistance. Try to just lean on the people that are important for you at this time. Find friends or people who are, you know, soulmates or people who you can really be yourself with. And speak your truth. Express yourself. And allow them to help you find your own answers. This new moon is going to be very powerful. It is a new beginning in finances and a new beginning in the material world. I am recommending for all signs to the night of the new moon, maybe take a hot tub bath or a yoga class or a massage. Things that can make you feel very connected to your senses and the sens sensuality of your senses because this is Taurus. Um, so essential oils, candles, dim lighting, um, lotions, I don't know, pillows, textures, blankets, bath bombs, whatever it is. Everything that can trigger your senses is going to be very pleasurable for you on this new moon and everything that you can do to kind of like Feel your body and feel the material world in this new moon is going to be great for you as well. Also, um, planting seeds for financial breakthroughs to come. That will be also a very good gateway to do. Um, I am extending my offer from the Abundance Blueprint course. It was originally only going to be available at discounted price until the end of April. But this new moon is like exactly what that course is about so I'm extending it another week and thank you so much you guys for all of you who have already signed up I am enjoying a lot to see like seeing all your comments over there and, and having all that process with you so if you feel like you would like to really go deep to your connection with the material world especially finances and your work and your career make sure to check that out because it is a course about energy work and this new moon is literally like completely aligned to that <laughs> so yeah you guys i hope that this reading was very helpful and i'm sending all my love to you bye